Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last episode I defeated Morpha, the um, boss of the Water Temple, and in this episode we're actually going to do another dungeon, because there isn't really much we can do, so that's what I'm going to do. But the problem is, we need to be a child in order to access the dungeon, so I'm first going to turn into a child, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, welcome back everyone. I'm a child again, so let's enter the new dungeon. The bottom of the well. Um, be sure to learn the Song of Storms as an, ad as an adult, or else you won't even be able to enter this dungeon. So, oh, wait a second. Let's see, have I drained the well yet? I don't remember. Yes, okay, nice. You can drain the well at the windmill. So, if you... Um, if you learn the Song of Storms as an adult, you just need to um, use your song when you're a child near that guy in the windmill. I don't know his name. I think it's Guru Guru or something. Anyway, when you do that, the well will get drained. So, yeah, let's go in. This is going to be creepy. This is actually one of the two creepy dungeons in this game. There's one creepy child dungeon and one creepy adult dungeon. And this is the first one, so this is going to be exciting. And it's quite creepy, <laughs> to say the least. And what's also kind of weird, I think in this version, there, there is some blood to be found in the dungeons. I'm not sure though, uh, that over there could be blood, could be wrong. However, they removed this in the 3DS version, and I was really disappointed by that. Because I really liked the... It really added to the atmosphere, the blood. Why, why remove it? I know that... People in this... I know that they think that children in this day of age um, aren't really used to that amount of blood, but come on, it's just a little game. What does that little fake blood matter? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. It is still a kick-ass dungeon, and who the hell's that? It's a skeleton, it seems. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the Eye of Truth. That's what they're saying. And he's actually referring to the dungeon item in this dungeon. Because as you can see, um, well, you see, it seems like we can't really progress. But if you walk into this m in this wall, you can actually go right through. Because there are plenty of invisible walls in this dungeon. And the dun dungeon item in this game will actually be used to uncover those invisible walls so it's a really important item and without it it will be really hard to navigate in the shadow temple so if you want to go to the shadow temple be sure to make a stop in the bottom of the well first okay but before we do anything I first want to drain all this water because I'm going to get the dungeon item right away so I'm, I got it over with and you couldn't do that right here you just have to use your Zelda's lullaby so let's do that. And when you do that, the little pond at the beginning of this dungeon will actually drain. So you can go in. And if you go further, you will actually go to the mini boss. And then we will get the dungeon item. So let's do that. And is there actually something in here? Not sure. No, not really. Okay, so that's nice. Now that we drained the water. Oh, don't scare me like that, you bitch. Well, it didn't really scare me, but it doesn't matter. Oh, oh my god. Mm, stupid sculpture. Yeah, be aware of that because there are a lot of invisible enemies, I think, in this dungeon. And if and if it isn't in this dungeon, there are in the Shadow Temple. So be sure to always equip your Lens of Truth. And I think there's actually a hidden a hidden wall um, near here. But, well, I could be wrong. We will find it out later when we get the dungeon item. And I'm kind of lost. No, we don't need to go there, so let's just continue. We need to go to the beginning room where we first entered um, into an invisible wall. Oh, it's right here. So, you need to jump down here and then just follow this little tunnel. Oh, come on, Link. Thank you. Okay. And we're actually going to a mini-boss that many people seem to fear. Many people se seem to find that that uh, mini-boss is kind of creepy. And it is kind of creepy. However, it didn't really scare me all that much compared to maybe the Redeads and the Wall Masters and Floor Masters because those. Oh my god, I really hate the Wall Masters and Floor Masters. Well, not really anymore now, but back then, 
Oh, I didn't want to see any of them. Anyway, let's enter this room and fight the mini boss. Hmm, so where's the mini boss? There's actually a little trick on how to uh, uncover the boss, but we will need a dungeon item for that. So, um, now that we can't really do that, let's just trigger the boss by uh, ah! letting us getting grabbed by that stupid ah, go away, stupid hand. Thank you. Okay, where's that guy? Oh my god, he's coming. So, what is it called? Dead hands. Watch out for its infinite hands. Aim for its head. Well, he doesn't seem to really have infinite hands, but he sure has a lot of them. So, what you just need to do is when he lowers his head, you just need to attack him. And that's it. And if you have the dungeon item, you can actually see where he is under the ground. And when you see him, you need to throw a bomb right there. And then he will be uncovered and you can attack him. So that's a much easier way to trigger him instead of getting grabbed by the stupid hands. Because if you're not careful and you and you can't uh, get out of the stranglehold of the hands, you will get attacked by the boss. And that isn't really... Well, it isn't really too bad because he doesn't really do all that much damage. But it's still kind of freaky to say the least. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do that again, I guess. Control stick, everything I got. Oh, dude, go. Oh, wait. You're, uh, you're choking me, you idiot. Uh, thank you. Okay, there he is again. Let's kill him. Man, he walks like a little. Uh, I actually wanted to say something bad. So, Come here. here, here. Lower your hat, man. Thank you. Uh, oh, he's not dead yet? Oh, damn it. Uh, what the? Go away! Oh, well, now you can grab me. And now... Let go of me. Thank you. No! Whoa. Oh my god. Well, let's try that again, shall we? Yes, he died. Normally, I think jump attack isn't really all that useful because as soon as you do that, you will actually um, jump right past him. So I don't think you'll actually hit him with a jump attack. I could be wrong though. If you keep your distance, you should be able to hit him. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's get the dungeon item. What could it be? What could it be? Let's find out. And it's... You found the lens of truth. Look through it, mysterious things are hidden everywhere. Be sure to try to use it outside of the well. Seeing the truth will cost magic power, so press C again to stop using it. Okay, so... Um, I think in a Master Quest version there's actually a hidden key in this room. I don't think it is in this room, however, but uh, it doesn't hurt to check, right? No, nope, there's nothing. And what I normally do to to um, um, to preserve magic power is to just do this. Just keep using your um, lens of truth. Keep turning it on and off. That way, you will see invisible walls, but you will preserve as much magic uh, as much magic as possible. So that can be really useful. But before we move on, let's kill this bitch first, because he's in my way. Thank you. Okay, let's now go into the tunnel. Hmm. Because now that we have the lens of truth, we can uncover a lot of hidden walls. Hmm. Let's go here first. I think there's actually a, a chest with a bomb shoe around here. I think it's actually right there. If you bomb this thingy over here, this pile of shit, of whatever it is, um, you will actually uncover a secret um, hole or something. And there you can get bomb shoes. So, if you want bomb shoes, there you can get it. And uh, let's see. Oh, there's that. Is this? Is no, that's not the secret room. I'm Wait, a what the? Okay, what the hell's going on? Um, what is this? Oh, okay. We don't have to go there because the door's locked. So, oh, that guy again. I think that guy actually dies on one hit. So, not really a threat. And what is this? Oh, this is the main room. Um, should we get it? Well, yeah. I think this is the dungeon map or something. Let's see. And be aware, don't fall down because if you fall down, uh, well, you can do that because I think there's a key you can get that way. But uh, you have to climb all the way back up. So. Be aware of that. There are a lot of those holes in this dungeon. And it was a compass. Well, I'm sorry, I guess. But now we can see where all the treasures are. So that's useful. Because we will need that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. This way? Well, yeah, why not? We actually drained the water, so we can check it out. And what is this? I think it's only money or or a uh, bomb or something. I don't know. Yeah, and a, a heart. 
that's okay as well. It's not a uh, key, but that it doesn't matter. We will get a key shortly, so don't worry about that. This is also a fairly creepy room, because this room is full, full with tombstones and redeads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Urquarina and I'm going to use my Song of... Um, what is it called? Song of... Uh, Sun Song! I'm sorry. That way I'll, I can stun them and backstab them. <laughs> I'm so mean. Okay, now let's attack that stupid... This thing is actually something else. This is actually a mummified redead. Gibdo. Its gaze will paralyze you. If it bites you, tap any button to escape. So, yeah, that's kinda cool. Actually, I think in a Majora's, in Majora's Mask, you can actually uncover those... Oh, what the... Oh, well, you can actually burn away um, the paper or whatever they are made of. And that way you will, you will uncover the readout. So that's cool. And this is going to take forever, it seems. So let's try to keep using the Sun Song. Uh, I really hate fighting these enemies when I'm a child because your sword is just so plain weak. I don't want to use my Deku sticks because I need them for something else. Because I need to light some torches. Well, well, okay, we can do that first. Doesn't matter. We still have 30 sticks anyway, so... Okay, let's first light this one, I guess. And what happens? I hope nothing wrong. Oh, well, the, gr the tomb opened. Uh, let's just hurry to the other side. Oh, please, thank you. And they're in one of these grave tombs. We can actually find a key, so we will we will need to check them all out, even if there are um, key posts. Kill those stupid keys! Thank you. Okay, and I think there's a torch on the other side, so let's see. Oh, please let there be a key in this one, because then I can go away. Oh, please. Oh, another keys. Oh, there it is. Oh, speaking of which, I was talking about keys and what is inside the tomb. A key. Nice. Okay, let's get it. Da 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 da. And I don't think there are any more keys in this room. However, I oh shit, that is a fire key. Please, 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 hurry up. Oh my god, I almost lost my Deku shield. That is so horrible. And you too, go away. Stupid keys. Okay, let's open the final grave tomb just to be sure. Or the final two, whatever. If it's a Gibdo, we will run like crazy. And let's see. Oh my god, it's a keep dog. Go away, go away. Okay. This one. Oh, that was kind of awkward. Sorry for that strange sound I was making. <laughs> okay, well, these are all keep those, so that doesn't really matter. And go away, man. Stop stalking me. Okay, not much we can do here, so let's get out of here. I hope there is not... Um, I hope this was the only key in here, or else I have to go back later, and I don't really like that. But yeah, it doesn't matter. We will see later on. Let's just look for more keys, because we will need as many keys as possible, or else we won't be able to 100% this dungeon. Ah. Oh wait, yeah, that's uh, a wise thing to do. And I actually think we need to go to the other way, and no! Stop attacking me! Ah. Annoying enemy. Oh no, not you again. Oh, what the? Ah. Watch out, really? Be sure to watch out for that hole. That one, that one is really nasty. And I think there's actually um, a treasure underneath here. I'm not sure if there's a key inside, but I want to check it anyway. So let's do that. Because normally when I do this dungeon, I don't get all the keys because I don't get all the sculptures. So yeah, normally when I go into this dungeon, I just get the Lens of Truth and I get out as soon as possible. And no, there is not a single key to be found in that chest. And go away. Thank you. Oh, the, oh, why do I keep getting my ass kicked by those stupid sculptures? There is a hidden room in here. I know it. But I don't know where... And stop wasting magic. Well, we could first go in here because there is a... Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Well, okay, it doesn't matter. Because there's a like like coming up and it is in a really... Um, small room so it can be kind of irritating to unleashed well let's first open this door also this room is really annoying because there are a lot of holes yes i was talking about holes a lot of holes so watch out first kill the keys no i want that other one that bitch in the background that one kill him kill him kill him thank you okay now kill the bemos 
thank you. Okay, now we can cross. Hmm. Cross the room. Please, please don't fall. Oh, hey, wait, there's actually, actually a chest right there. What could it be? And oh my gosh, my, my dogs are barking like there's no tomorrow. What annoying dogs. I know. They always do that when people run around my house. <sighs> I hope you guys don't hear it because it really is annoying. And there's a sculpture line here and a like like. How fun. Die, please. Please die. No, die. Die. Thank you. Just die, stupid like like. I don't like you anymore, so go away. Thank you. Go. Die. Die. Oh my god. Stay away from me. Thank you. Oh. Let's see what's inside here. I think a key. What? Another rupee? Oh. Oh, what what a better way to disappoint me than to give me a five rupee. Or a five rupee? Or give me giving me five rupees whatever okay let's kill that sculpture first before we get out of here oh get those dogs please shut up damn it they're really bugging the crap out of me oh, they just keep barking and barking Ugh. anyway now that we get out over with let's just get out of here I think there's actually some stuff we can do underneath here so let's go into one of these holes wow damn it okay Man, we lose a lot of health in here. I really have to heal up after this dungeon. Um, wait a second. Is, isn't there something more we can do here? Um, that's truth. Not really. Well, um, then I'll be, um, exploding these rocks, I guess. <laughs> because I want to get out of here. Okay. Blow up. Blow up. Blow up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chain reaction. <laughs> uh, well, I think there's a key in here, but I'm not sure. Doesn't hurt to check, right? So, let's see. What's in here? Uh, not much, it seems. Oh, wait! Heart, re heart refill. Well, that's nice. Thank you. Um, nothing, I guess. Well, there is something right there, but I'm not sure what. And uh, I don't want to check. Because, well... I don't know. I don't know what that is. So, yeah, what could we do? Um, that way, I guess. We will need to equip the bombs first, though, so... Yeah. Oh, my God. There's a lot of stuff we need to do in this dungeon. It's so annoying. Oh, my... Oh, that was a read at. Go away. Please. Please. Oh. Oh, my God. Go away. Go... Oh, what the hell? Why am I grabbing it? No! Bitch! Thank you. Uh, okay, I'm safe. So, what can we do? What the hell? There's nothing in here? Oh, uh, what a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Let's kill that motherfucker. Come here. Oh, what the? Uh, I'm so... I'm so lame. Dude, uh, getting my ass kicked in here. Damn it. Oh, and uh, did I mention that there are hands in there? Yep, there's a giant pool of toxic water and there are hands in there of dead people yeah and if you you can actually stand on top of the, those uh, hands if I'm correct yep how creepy is that that's much creepier than a, a little bit of blood stains on the wall but yeah it doesn't matter <laughs> let's blow up these rocks because I actually think that there are some redads behind here having a slumber party and uh, only one? Okay, that's surprising. Well, let's open this chest anyway. What the? Go away, you bitch. Because I do remember that in one of the two versions, Master Quest or this version, there is a group of Redads and you need to defeat them. And, well, that can be kind of tricky with a uh, with a young Link because they keep raping you like there's no tomorrow. Ugh. Oh. Would you please shut up? Thank you. Damn it. So, um, apparently there's nothing we can do here. Nothing. Because we pretty much explored all the rooms, I guess. I'm not sure. Did we explore this room? I think so. Let's see. Uh, yes, we explored. Uh, why do I keep backtracking? We explored this room, so let's just get out of here. Also, oh my god, I'm losing track of time because I, uh, well, I'm running low on time. 
So, in the next episode, we're going to progress into this dungeon. I'm really sorry that I'm, um, kind of lost now. Well, not, I'm not really lost, but I'm trying to find all the treasures, and that can take a while. So, I'm really sorry. I'll try my best in the next episode to wrap up this dungeon. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.